launched in mobile phone uh, at Glee and to nine uh, Sunshine Farm on PC and Kaito Lowire and this is launched by DNA Mafia World Star Game is launched on mobile. So this is a photo of uh, Tsurisuka fishing game. It's very primitive. Very primitive but yes it, it has um, uh, it hits uh, so many people. It will lure, yeah, practically lure so many people. Uh, for example, uh, some fishing, uh, stick. fishing stick, yeah, uh, oh. cost to uh, 10,000 yen. Yeah, virtual stick cost to 10,000 yen. It broke in 10 times or 12 times. Yeah, hmm. it's so nice business. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but here comes the truth. <laughs> Drone collection and do land, yes. The right card order system. Uh, drone collection, Konami and Gree uh, launched at uh, 2010. Uh, 2010. Uh, Konami can make very nice card game because they have, uh, made, uh, they have made such a great card game, Yu-Gi-Oh! So, know how, they have known how to, ha uh, how to make a good card game. And, yes, yeah, just copycat. Uh, Tanke and Dui Land, 211. And since have changed to 11, uh, Rachel Bahamut and Idomasa Cinder Guards. Do you know the below two game? No one? Yes. Sure. <laughs> 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 so, this. Uh, these two games is, uh, have major advantage. Because they, their graphics are uh, very, very improved. They have very improved graphics. Uh, and that, this time, yes, <laughs> very poor graphics, but yes, this is only image, but still have great graphics. So, they rule as kings or maybe queens. <laughs> <laughs> and so, the question is why? Why uh, they can rule the Japanese market? Yes. And so it's bottom five. This is bottom five. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> normal feature phone have one to ten dial part, and bottom five is used by a uh, confirmation button for these games. For example, this is uh, an Master Cinder Girls uh, game screenshot. And okay, so this game is uh, based on Mafia Wars. And you can choose a job and do a red, the red button, do a job, and you get some uh, exper experiment point or gold or something else other than like that. Yes, and I need some repeat. If, and when you push five button, you do a job. Five button, continue job. Five button, continue job. Yeah, it's nice game. And, <laughs> oh, sorry, this, this screenshot is a uh, center girls. Uh, smartphone version, we can't, we don't have any uh, feature from screenshots. And this is a main screen of the center guard. So do your job, PvP, uh, character grinding, and gacha. Virtually, there's well, uh, five menu in the main screen. Okay, so this. Why they play such a game in game? So this hardware doesn't have the best control of those games, yes. And small screen. Uh, the, this stat is uh, 2014's the uh, new feature form. Yes, age of iPhone 6. Still they have uh, yes, resolution is below. Yes, very small screen. Small screen and bad keyboard and control pad. So you can virtually make action game or an action related game or um, something do very um, complex move. <laughs> so you may say, no, oh, just pressing five, it's not game. Mm, you may be saying, okay, don't mind. Well, Japanese gamers have the same and heavy. But you must. You must have played this type of game or games if you are a real game developer. Okay, break it down. 
this game is just push fine to gain some resource, sometimes captures. Okay, so two, separate PvP fields available. Three, capital grinding is important. Four, captures have reality. Five, players love their capture and sometimes put forth incredible effort, effort and uh, um, time and money, especially money, to get him or her. If you play with a friend, you can enjoy more, right? Yes, it's a MMO game. Get the idea? You maybe play this. Mm -hmm. Okay, check. Just walk and tap and swipe to gain some resource, sometimes capture. Separate the PvP field available, yeah? G. And character grinding is important, important. And character have reality, yes, reality. Player loves their character, yes, loves their Pikachu, yeah? Sometimes put forth an incredible for yeah, walking 10 kilometers to get him or her. And play with your friend, more, getting more fun. Yeah, same person. So, the magic magic about the five session rules the world. <laughs> because for reason, everyone can play and enjoy the game. Yes, accessibility rules. And almost anyone can push five. <laughs> and other people love the idea. They don't want to play the game, just killing time. <laughs> and separate people with someone, yes, it's important. You don't have to worry, you say, oh, my village will be bent down by some geeky and sinky stranger of why I am threatening. Yeah, it is fun indeed, at the first time, no second. And for every player makes their favorite character acting. Just play push five. Yes, it's a great idea. Yeah, and there's such an impressive opinion. Why do I have to turn on my TV and mm, PlayStation 4 and sit in front <laughs> of the TV and keep sitting just in order to play a game? Yeah, it's very impressive. But soon, in the Mighty Falcon 5 system head form. Yeah, smartphone doesn't have bottom five. Yeah, it's crucial. Mm. <laughs> very, very crucial. Mm -hmm. And players want more complex games, even non gamer. And even Mighty Dragons can be strong. So, uh, this puzzle and do you know puzzle and dragons have you ever played? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, this is an uh, action puzzle with a element. And here comes and Mighty Queen appears. <laughs> and below the uh, Cinder Girls uh, start stage. and. Upper is fake brand over. If you want to uh, 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 know these games, please Google it. And, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what has happened in Japan could happen in your region in five years? Because, for example, in 20 years, we got a huge gacha away. Yeah. Uh, everyone wants these girls and paying 10. Uh, one thousand and hundred and million yen, and now <laughs> you <yeah>. suffer. Same. <laughs> okay, same. Uh, oh. yeah, Uh, now we're gonna invite all of our panel speakers up to talk about the future. So, sorry, Gara-san, <laughs> Bilbo. And then Tokoka-san. Tokoka-san. Dan. Dan, we can share. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Yeah. It's okay. Oh. I'm streaming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello. 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 Okay. Hello. <clears throat> uh, should we start with a little Jiko Shokai? <laughs> okay. じゃあ日本語でこうか。日本語で大丈夫。はい。えっと、国語家です。え、ライ、えっと、ジャーナリストをやっています。え、ゲームのシナリオのライティングもしております。<笑> え、かっこいいね。えっと、え、今回もえ、リブートの取材でえ、カバレッジを今上げて、複数上げております。よろしくお願いいたします。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>
Uh, Mr. Tokoka is a journalist and also writes uh, scenarios for games. And this year he's also doing coverage of Reboot right now as we speak. Yeah. <coughs> he's working very hard. You got a son? Hi, I got a son. 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 Um, Mr. Igarashi, also known as Iga, makes video games, and uh, yesterday he did a session right here. Nice to meet you. My name is Suwari, S-W-E-R-Y. I, I can't say my name clearly, sorry. Uh, I came from Japan. I'm a video game developer and a Buddhist monk. That's all. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, I'm Brandon Sheffield, I'm creative director of Necrosoft Games, and I used to be a journalist as well, and uh, I've been to Japan interviewing these people a lot of times, and I guess that's why I'm here today. So, right, after that nice uh, description of, oh, hello, I'm getting <laughs> streamed. Uh, <laughs> after that nice introduction of the brief history of Japanese game, Design. I'm curious to know where you all think Japan is going from here. What's the future? What's the future? Well, <laughs> もともとそのゲームって今映画と同じでなんか二極化が進んでますよね。あのハリウッド的な映画とあのもうちょっとコアなところに向かってるものと映画と。でゲームも多分同じようになっていくんですけど、もうなってるんですけど、まあ日本は
、えー、ファミコンを青春時代に遊びまくった人が今もう50歳くらいになっているはずです。うん、あじゃあそこまでお願いします。そこまで。ああ、そう。The first thing that comes to mind is just the rising age, rising age of the population. Um, all the people who played the Famicom, the NES, when they were kids and enjoyed it, are now in their 50s. So, another thing that comes to mind is the older people get, the more they start to hate fighting with other people. ですのでそのもっと何かを集めて完成させるみたいなゲームが今後どんどん増えていきかつ画面に表示される文字はどんどん大きくなると思います、うん、そういう意味では、うん、ゲームの中にはたくさんの文字が<笑>昨日の公演でも言ったんですけど僕ねその先週先々週から誕生日を迎えてその瞬間から老眼になったんですよねで近くのものが見えないから、まあ、あのテキストを大きくするかあのね僕はだからそういう人でも遊べるように目のサプリを開発しようと思って Quite recently s w e r y had his 44th birthday and on that day he became farsighted and it became very hard for him to see so he's decided to、uh, Develop a supplement for gamers who are old to help them see the screens better. That way,、uh, developers won't have to mess with their layouts. Um, so, compared to the past,、um, the content in games is really expanding, whereas the budgets are sort of staying the same. So, in that vein,、uh, games where you can gather things、um, have really seen、uh, good changes recently. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's interesting to me because when I spoke to、um, Yasuhara san <coughs> Yasuhara san from formerly of Sega, the、uh, Sonic. Designer.、Um, I asked him what he thought was the difference between Japanese and American game players. And he said the biggest difference is、um, in order to, you know, there's one problem, right? And American players want to、uh, erase everything in the area to solve that problem. And Japanese players want to gather everything in the area together to go solve a problem together. Kind of thing, but Americans want to do it by myself, I will erase everything. So I'm curious about your current idea of the difference between Japanese and American game players. Okay. Sorry. No, no, that's okay. America, there was a lot of problems in America, so I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to リソースを集めてみんなの力を合わせてそれで問題を解決するっていうあの2つのキャンプに分かれてますが今の現在はそれと変わりないんですかそれとも違うんですか<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>、えー、僕の会社今までの経験した会社でいうとその日本のスタンダードかどうかは分かんないんですけど。全部壊すのはや,やらせてもらえないかもしれないですね、その先ほど言った予算の問題とか、えっと、発売日の問題とか、いまだに言ってて、もちろんそのクリスマスとかは大事ですから、そこに出さないといけないんだけど、発売日がいつだからここまで作ろうっていうのは、かなり強く意識されてると思いますね、日本のマーケットっていうのは。スティームとかで出して、何年間も売れるから、いつ出してもいいよ、隙間で出そうっていうような考え方がすごい少ないじゃないですか、ね、いまだに。Um, typically in Japan,、uh, the release date of a game is very, very important, and the budget is all, is all set in conjunction with the release date. So it's really hard to change things and、uh, do things that are outside of the constraint, constraints of the budget. But now, recently with Steam, the possibilities of Steam, you're seeing more and more games that really just allow creators to go on creating the game for as long as they want. 
あの発売日に関してだけなんですけど、発売日に関しては、あの日本よりも僕は海外の方が厳しいイメージがあって、うん、最初にマーケティング戦略があって、でマーケティング戦略でここに何を投下するっていうのを決めてからあの、全部プロジェクトが動くってことが結構多くて。であの日本って割とそこそこなあなあであれなんですけどあの特にアメリカ市場はサンクスギビングがめちゃめちゃ大きいので絶対にここだけは外すなみたいな感じの,あの、まあ、アメリカからの要求とかも今あの海外の会社と付き合っててもやっぱそこら辺はすごいシビアに言われますね。The release, the release date has been much tighter than even Japan because of the marketing strategies that are behind it. Everything's scheduled based on these marketing strategies. And especially in his, his experience in America, you know, they've had these, these、um, things that they say, this has to go in the game, you can't do anything to get around this. And that's just an absolute rule that can't be avoided. TGS で発表して、明日売りますって言って、次の日発売日っていうのをやりましたからね<笑>。そうね。うん。When、just about the release date thing。When Sawyer was working on this game called D4, he actually、um, announced the day before the game was going to be released that the game was being made. So it's like, at TGS, all of a sudden, yes, we have this game called D4 and it's going to be out tomorrow. うん。なんか、スティーブ・ジョブズみたいにやってみたかった。<笑><笑> Yeah, did it like, like Steve Jobs would do. Ah, just to, I know, the key of player of the score, the two of 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 the two Um, just getting back to the talk about how、uh, Japanese play- players apparently like to gather things and work together to create, solve problems rather than overseas people who like to destroy everything.、Um, Tobo san feels that、uh, this isn't the case with Japanese people, they also like to destroy things. というのも、日本ではそのより多くの普段ゲームをしなかった人がゲームに参加するようになってから。えー、いわゆるトラビアンタイプのゲームがすごく流行った時期があってみんなでも他人の村燃やしまくり奪いまくり殺しまくりでそこにそれこそ何十万単位でお金をぶっち込む人が続出したので日本人がこうなんか集めるのが専門とか殺すのが嫌いっていうのはまず割安だと思います。Their fellow players'、uh, villages, burn things down, kill people,、um, and especially spend thousands of、uh, dollars or th-、uh, tens of thousands of yen to do it. はじめはそうやって他人を打ち負かすことに快感を覚えていた人たちもだんだんそれをやると自分もやられるってことを学んで。で、今ではどちらかというとそのあの人間ってあの得ることより失うことがすごく怖がる傾向があってなのでなるべくその得るというよりは失わないようなゲームがすごく重要になって日本では受けているなという印象があります。So, you have these players who seem to prefer games where you don't have to lose anything, you're just constantly gaining things. Yeah, and it, it's interesting to think about this change. You know, as you mentioned, there are some American games are also moving in that direction to some extent because, like Skyrim or Fallout or something.、Uh, You could, though, it, though it's ostensibly about ki- killing, you could also say that it's about gathering because you're going, the, oh, all these open world games are just about getting more things and rolling a million cheese rolls down a hill or something. America is also the same as Skyrim and Fallout in the open world game. It's a lot of things that are going to be in America. It's a lot of things that are going to be in America. Um, would you say 
What, how would you describe the, the gap between creators making games for Japan and creators making games for outside of Japan? Sorry? あ、<笑><笑> Sorry has never decided to make a game for Japan. There's only been times in which, which people have forced him to make games for Japan. He's, but all the games that he's made have been uh, for worldwide. Hi, <laughs> so, on the contrary, uh, Igarasu-san has never made games uh, aimed aim for, world, for worldwide people. He's always just, uh, they've always been popular overseas, but you know, he's always just been focused on whatever you know, him and his immediate staff think is fun. And, and back to Igarasu-san. Um, is it difficult when you're working in a big company and your games are and in Japan and your games are mostly popular overseas and not in your home country? Is that any kind of difficulty for you within the company? Uh, いや、問題が、<笑> <laughs> so he's never really experienced any serious problems as a result of selling a lot overseas and not that much in Japan. It's just been a, uh, a thing of shifting the marketing and focusing more on overseas. Um, it's always just come down to you know, him, again, him and his staff making what they think is fun and then just sending that out to as many people as possible. Um, and none of you make free-to-play games, really, but what do you think about uh, game pricing in, in Japan going forward? Um, you know, uh, Igarasan's DS games were sold for less and less money uh, every year that they came out. And you know, uh, all iOS and Steam games are cheaper and cheaper. Most of them are free. So, uh, what do you think about all of that? ま、例えば、えっと、<笑> まあ、Honestly, you guys some things it's a big problem how the price of games has been changing. Um, you know, if the uh, the lower price allows them to sell more units, then obviously that's that's good, but that's you know, the best possible, uh, that's an idealist, idealistic situation. 
Um, the other thing is that free-to-play games have been constantly increasing in quality, and you know that obviously requires a bigger cost. So it, now it becomes a problem how how to you know make back all that money. And do you you know it, it seems that most of you prefer selling games at a premium as well. So how do you deal with the competition from free-to-play? あの、皆さんはプレミアムカードでゲームを売ってるのに、まあ、慣れてるし、そっちの方がいいと思うかもしれないので、フリートプレイのスロープ、あの、安い定価で段階してはどうやってそれをなんか、あの、競ってるんです
、えー、ゲームメディアを通じて売れているのではなくてテレビコマーシャルを通じて売れているというのが現状です、えー、なので、えー、日本で基本無料のゲームをリリースして儲けるためにはテレビコマーシャルの枠を買ってそこで CM 打てなかったら勝負にすらなりません一枠大体2億円から3億円ぐらいですのこの広告費を払えるところしかもはや生き残れないというのが日本におけるフリーテプレイの現状だと思っていいと思います So the truth about free to play games in Japan is basically、um, in order to release a game in order to make it sell you have to buy a TV commercial spot which costs quite a bit of money That is just an absolute, the absolute minimum you need to do to get people to play your game.、Um, <clears throat> 100 hmm? his, his, his answer was、uh, got 100, 100, 100 points. <laughs> From Sway. <laughs>、um, so here's a perhaps sensitive question kind of about Japanese、uh, company culture. What do you do when you are more famous than your boss in,、uh, <laughs> in, in the outside world? I mean, both of you have left your companies, so it may be possible to say, but I've, I've heard about this actually being quite a problem where if you start to gain popularity, people above you will be like, who's this cheeky guy trying to take all my stuff? I mean, the hierarchy is quite firm. I'm screaming. ごめん。日本ではその上司より自分が人気になってしまうケースはあるって聞いたことあるんですけど、それで結構あの人気になっている人が生意気なやつだとか結構周りからいじめられるケースが多いんですが、実際はどうなんですか。<笑>できるか大丈夫これだからスト,ストリーム止めればいいんじゃないですか<笑>あの友達の話友達の話ですけど He's gonna talk about his friend right now not him not, not me、yeah. 友達の話ですけどその会議室に呼ばれてそういう話をされたっていうのはねあの聞いたことあります<笑> So he heard that one day his friend Got called into a meeting room with all his friends' superiors and really got a lot of terrible things said to him. So, now, in that time, I was talking about the homepage of the blog, and I was talking about the blog. So, you know, that's what I was He also heard that you know, this friend of his was, for, was they wanted to force his friend. To, okay, his friend's photo was on the website, the official website for the company. And they wanted to change that photo into a photo of them instead because they're his superiors. Not me. Yeah. You're a son of Tomodachi. I'm a man's dream. His friend. I'm a man's dream. 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 日本の会社で初めてほぼほぼ,ほぼ初めてそのプロデューサーとか広告塔みたいな人をガッと前に出したあの自然に有名になったっていう人はいるんですけどそうではなくてあの戦略的にあの、えー、こういう人が作りましたっていうのを押し出したのは実はあの会社が実は初めてだと僕もちょっと聞いたんですけどもそういうことを戦略としてやったんですねでそれはあのその時はちょっと分社化してたんですけど分社化した時のトップがえっ、ー、とまああのなんだろうゲームに対してあまり興味がある人ではなくてうちからビジネスマンだったので、えー、とそれをやることでまず、えー、と広告枠が取れるとかそれものすごい打算的にすごい考えてた人だったんですねでそういうところとあと,、えー、とこの人たちを前に出すとゲームの責任とかはなんか俺の俺の玉よけになってくれんじゃねえみたいな感じの,あのそんなあの感覚があそんなこと言ってないですけど言ってないですけどそんな感覚をこうあのなってで逆に上司が上司のトップがこう前にどんどんどんどん押し出してた時期だったねなのであの時あの時にその例えばえっ、ー、と明山山岡とかまあ有名な人たちが割とバーッと出ていった時期でもあったんですね。Okay, so obviously you know of course there are people who just become naturally famous, but there are also cases where、um, The people up top strategically push people out and try to make them famous 
in order to get them to take the blame for things or to make them the fall guy in case something bad happens. Um, and uh, Igarasan's specific case, you know, his company eventually went into different branches, and uh, one of the people who, are at the top, who was at the top of this one branch was just a, a straight, you know, business person who was just thinking of sales, money, very calculating in their decisions, and um, you know, didn't didn't want to just push people out unless it had something to do with, with money. Um, but on the other hand, there was a there was a period of time when uh, the boss, the person in charge, was was pushing people out on purpose, such as uh, people like Akira Yamaoka, um, who became went on to become very famous. ジャーナリスト その、どっか例えばですけれども、えっと、生産性という点で考えると、その、どっかよくわかんない僕みたいなのが、その、記事書くよりも、え、例えば、え、何インチネイルのボーカルが、えっと、リブートの代わり字を書けば、もうそれも
そういう意味ではすごくあの僕は知らない方がいいとこういうふうに思っています Okay, so Igor s a n actually、uh, feels that you know, if the people up top, the people with money, don't understand games at all and are aware of that fact, it's actually better because then it forces them to trust the people who do, trust the people who really are creating the games. So, for example, in his experience, you know, his bosses up top didn't understand games, so they say, well, you know, what, what's going to sell now? They'd come to him and ask him, you know, please, you know, we'll, we'll put our trust in you. Obviously, you know, it's going to be your responsibility, but just as long as you make something that sells, we'll be behind you. The problem is,、uh, you know, if, if maybe the people up top, maybe they do play a few games and they have their own ideas of, of what makes the game good or what makes the game sell, then all of a sudden they're coming to him and standing behind his bag and saying, oh, you've got to put this in. This is what's hot right now. It's going to make the game sell really good. But of, of course, that relies on them actually trusting you. Hmm. Well, you know, if you do that, you can do it. 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 あの分かってる気になってる人ってのが一番大きいですよね<笑>そ,うそ,うそ,うそ,うそういう人って中途半端にゲームをやってる人だったりするんで、うん、あの逆にゲームに全く興味ない方がいいんですよあなるほどゼロの方がいいゼロの方がいいです、うん、The problem is you know when you have someone who doesn't really understand games or doesn't really play them but thinks that they do that's like the worst possible situation you want someone who has no knowledge of games and is also not interested in games whatsoever むしろむしろそういうふうに考えてそれが売れるってことなら「お前たち作詞を」って毎回思います。You know, when someone comes to him and starts giving him ideas on how to make his game, he just tells him, well, then you plan it. プレイじゃなくて、plan. そうそう、you plan. Yeah, 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 you plan it. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Uh, right. So, and then these companies are all getting quite old and It feels as though, you know, in terms of like famous creators, we're not getting very many new ones. Like, new people are not able to rise to the top pretty much around the world in terms of being a name that you can use to sell a video game.、Uh, but especially in Japan, I think Swery, you're like one of the last ones <laughs> who made it、uh, past that line. Like, nobody kind of younger、mm-hmm. has, has gotten in there. Do you think this is okay or a problem? Uh, it's, it's also kind of related to the media not being able to push these people up. The more you know, Genzai no Nihon, there are, Hontoni, more, Ima, Atrashi, Wakate no Hito Tachiga, Niki Natiri, to you, Leo, Amari, Mirnais, Mushiro, Sori Sanga, Sono Sedai no Ichiban Saigo, Ni, Dereta, Hito Desio. The Soya Moskas, the media, Amari, Chika, Eritana, I can show you in this girl, Sono Mondai, or Doya, the Kaikas, the Kiri, to my m a s k モッピン君がいます。え？モッピン。彼彼が頑張ります。モッピン。モッピン。あ、モッピンね。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。モッピン。あと、えー、とあまり期待はできませんが日本の、えー、とダメなキッチであるニコニコ動画っていうのがあるんですよ。で、そこで<笑>あのそのダメなキッチであるニコニコ動画がですね<笑>あのゲあ若いそのゲームの作り手を集めてそのデビューさせようみたいな計画を今動かしているのであのそういうところにはすごく期待はしています。ダメだね There is one ray of hope in Japan.、Um, there's this site called Nico Nico Doga, which is kind of like a worse version of Twitch.、Um, and they, they've got together this plan where they're taking these really new, up and coming creators and trying to give them you know, coverage on the internet to get their names out there. Yeah, that's good.、Um, well, we have three minutes left.、Okay. So let's.、Uh, Try, let's each give our hopes for the future of the Japanese industry. What would you like it to become? えー、英語を日本語に翻訳できる人は結構多くて
あのもしこれが言いたいのはスチームで、えっと、のコメント欄で英語で書き込みしてその英語が理解できるんだったらその人は多分ローカライズある程度できちゃう人ですそれぐらい英語を日本語にできる日本人っていうのは多いんですよところが日本語を英語にできる日本人って極めて少なくて最終的にはもう正直ラみたいな人に頼らざるを得ないところがあるので日本のそのちっちゃな優れた例えばモピンのゲームみたいなものを海外にもっと出していくためにもそのローカライズのこの部分がもうちょっとうまく回るようになるといいなと思っています。トココさん、believes that、uh, one of the ways to help new creators get more coverage is to break down more of the barriers、uh, of localization. There are, there are a lot of people in Japan who can translate from English to Japanese、uh, very well.、Um, the, the problem is that when, when you have to get、uh, translators to translate from Japanese to English, they have to rely on foreigners, people like me, who, you know, obviously there's more Japanese people in Japan. Versus foreigners, so it's harder to find people like me.、Um, if, they, if they could figure out a way to get more Japanese people、um, up to a, the skill level where they could translate from Japanese to English、um, in a decent manner, that would help more smaller games get out faster.、Mm -hmm. Well, Google Translate would do it.、Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <笑>はい、あの正直僕は日本のマーケティングとかあんま興味がなくてすいません<笑>であの僕に一番興味があるのはもう僕はもう49になりましてもうすぐ50になりますあと何本死ぬまで作れるんだろうっていうことの方にかか興味がないのでえっ、ー、と、えー、そんな感じです<笑><笑> So you guys son is, is 49 and he's almost 50 and so he's not really、um... All he's concerned about right now is basically how many more games he'll be able to make before he dies. <laughs> My turn.、Uh, make Japanese game industry great again. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay,、uh, I'm afraid that's the end. It's been a fun time, thanks to all the speakers and to Dan. And yeah, you can, you can find us around the bar later. Thank you for watching. Bye.